Hello world. Oh man, yo. Yo, today is a today is a beautiful day, yo. Today is such a beautiful day. I swear to you, it's just Let's look outside, look. You see outside, yo? It's a beautiful day, man. <laughs> Why? Cause something changed my life. Something, something, oh man. Sun gazing. Sun gazing. Sun gazing. Sun gazing did something to my eyes. I can't even explain to you. It's just, like physically, it, it really did something to my eyes. You know? Um. I grew up all my life, you know, with glasses. I had glasses since I was like third grade. This is about third grade. And over the years it just it just declined, it declined. It got worse and worse and it just came to a point, you know, coming to junior high school I had to be in front of the class just to see, you know. And it it, it put me in a certain place because, you know, I was um I felt like I had to I had to do more just to just to keep up. And growing with that mentality, it it stuck in my subconscious and it never gave me a chance to to ask. What is it there? What is there that I can do? And you know, I, I just thought it was funny because you know, right now I'm 23 and I remember all my visits, all my my eye doctor visits. You know, I would ask them like, you know, what what I could do, and they would tell me, you know, stop looking in front of the TV or you know, just things that to to prevent it. But they would tell me, you know, you know, long story short, you know, you could only keep your vision. But the only reason why you keep your vision is because glasses are crutches to the eyes. They're they're crutches to the eyes. They they keep you here. If you can, you just gotta give your eyes a chance to see something that I realize. Give your eyes a chance to see. And what I mean is that our biology doesn't match to our our current standards you could say you know everything in life you know we're is in front of us we're, the way we do work everything's in front of our faces the books is in our faces everything's in our faces but our biology our eyes were meant to see in the distance they were meant to see in the distance you know that's how we start off as nomads. Nomads, they traveled. Why? Because <laughs> they saw their way. They perceived their way. So they used their eyes a lot. And it is crazy how so many people are, are stunted in their vision. But the coolest thing is that you don't have to be. You don't have to be. It's only a perception. It's only a perception. So, in asking, instead of instead of asking somebody for an answer, I asked myself for an answer, and I came across sun gazing. Now, for those who don't know about sun gazing, sun gazing is um is basically an act of of gazing at the sun. Pretty much, that's that's the gist of it, you know. And it was brought on to the to the west, to the western world, by um a man named HRM. I, I can't, I can't say his name properly, but his name goes by HRM. And basically, this guy, he claims to eat the sun. Like he eats sun for breakfast. Like he eats sun for breakfast. <laughs> How fascinating is that? How crazy does it sound? It sounds crazy. Well, it doesn't really sound that crazy, you know? Because because of the sun, everything is here. And 
plants. Plants survive off of water and sunlight, right? So what is it that plants know that we don't? What is it that plants know that we don't? That's a cool perspective, right? Sit in the sunlight all day and they grow, you know? So I gave it a try. I gave it a try over in, um, in August, late August. Yeah, August 20 something. Yeah, well, late August. And right now I'm at 11 minutes 40 seconds. Yeah. I'm at 11 minutes 40 seconds. And, um, man, look into it. Look into it, because it changed my perspective, you know? I've been, I've been at it, and when I got to nine minutes is when I, I started seeing a little differently. It started getting to a point where like, I can see the pores on my skin. Like, like I know my vision, you know? So like somebody who has, somebody who has bad vision and, and they see in a different light, you, you can automatically tell, I can automatically tell. And it's just, it seems a lot more crisper now. And the crazy thing it is, cause today, you know, I'll put on a fresh new pair of contacts. I wear contacts and Usually when you put a fresh new pair, you know, anybody who has who has bad vision, who had who puts on a fresh new pair is like it's like you could breathe, you know, he's like your, your nostrils open up, your pores open up, you could you can just take it all in and it just didn't feel that way. Like I I gazed at the clock a little bit earlier, like an hour ago. I gazed at the clock and it was so weird how the time it took for me to focus in on it. And it was just weird, cause I'm like, wait, you know, this is this is what my vision is, is fixed to with this prescription. So, you know, how could that be doing that? I can just, I can just look at it. It's just, everything's supposed to be so crisp, but I had to focus in on it. And now I can tell that it's, it's fuzzy. It's fuzzy. Something is happening to my eyes, man. And I just feel like I have to share this with everybody. I have to share awareness with the world. This is what my channel is gonna be about. You can illuminate the way. You can if you give yourself a chance. So, give yourself a chance. <laughs> Peace.